What's up, YouTube? R&D Lee here, bringing you another edition of Tech Talk. Today we got the Atom Electric B18DX in the house, and we are going to give you all the techie details. So just starting with the name to let you know what we're dealing with, we got the B standing for belt drive. There's a couple kind of cool things on that that we'll get to later. The 18 stands for 180 watt hour battery. We chopped the zero off. Um, and that means it's got 20 pieces of the Samsung 25R cells, lithium cells sitting in this box right here. So packs a ton of punch. B18D tells you dual drive and X goes off-road, all-terrain, extreme. So that's kind of, that's what's in the name and that kind of tells you a little bit about the board. But the key thing to really realize is that this is a two-in-one model. So not only does it come stock with the MBS 100 millimeter knobby all-terrain wheels, you actually get a free set of 90 millimeter street wheels. Okay, so anybody trying to decide, hey, do I want all-terrain, do I want street? Don't decide, get both by this board, all right? So bringing back, it's part of my tech talk, the one thing that I really wanted to focus on is the first letter in the name, which is B, okay, belt drive. So, as, as a lot of you know, we have two different lines, hub motors for our H-series, um, belt drives for our B-series. So, hub motors have lots of advantages. I'm not kind of like for one or against, you know, one, anything like that. Um, hub motors are nice and efficient. They're really kind of simple, low maintenance. Um, the belt drives just give you a little more performance. So that's kind of what I want to talk about today. So, great for anybody who's interested. Hey, I kind of am interested in going down a DIY route. This board's perfect for that because we give you all the electronics, everything works, you're not going to be blowing stuff up, um, but it allows you to kind of mess around with some of the gear ratios and things like that. So that's the focus of our tech talk today. All right, starting off with that, um, focusing on the belts, I'm just going to do, I got a new whiteboard, <clears throat> hope you like it, um, but I'm not good at drawing circles, so I'm going to use the help of my MBS wheel here. <clears throat> All right, so what I've done there is I have drawn a wheel. All right, give it kind of a fake truck and a deck up here. And then on this board, we kind of place our motors, kind of tuck them up under the, uh, under the deck right there, an axle and an axle. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing, why white belt drive? Why does it give you an advantage when you're talking about performance? And the key thing to understand is that this motor right here um, and just all, you know, all electric motors, brushless DC motors, they like to spin fast. That is the key thing to understand. So when I say fast, we talk about RPMs. Um, this motor likes to spin, let's say, these are ballpark numbers, 5,000 RPM, all right? That is its happy, that's its happy place, all right? So we want to get this motor spinning that. Now, when you're talking about um, an average speed of a board, this board, the max speed is 20 miles per hour. All right, so when you talk about 20 miles per hour, the wheel at 20 miles per hour is doing about, come on, like this, is doing about 2,000, 2,000 RPMs, all right? So when you have a hub motor, that if your wheel's doing 2,000 RPMs, then your motor's doing 2,000 RPMs. Not in its happy space, okay? It's, it's like I said, there's advantages, but if you want the motor doing what it loves to do, just torquey, punchy, kind of giving you all it's got, you need to get the motor spinning 5,000 or above in that range. That is where gear ratios come into effect. So what that means is the way that we get gearing in is we put a, a uh, this is called a motor pulley since it's the pulley on the uh, motor. This is called a wheel pulley since it's the pulley on the wheel. We put 60 teeth on this one, the one that comes stock, and we put 16 teeth on this one. Now the gear ratio is just this one divided by that one, which is 3.75. And what that means is when this 
wheel is spinning one revolution, this one is doing 3.75 times that many revolutions. So that 2000 RPMs gets multiplied by 3.75, coming out to be 7500 RPM, which is most definitely puts the motor in the happy place for that real kind of where you wanting to get that torque. Okay, so um, that that's basically perfect, and that's why we do gearing on those things. So that's that's the important thing to notice on this board. It's a performance board. It's for anybody who's kind of looking for the most they can get out of a motor and potentially wanting to go into a little bit of DIY. Next thing to talk about is just the details of okay how these things are done, how do you change things out. And one of the other key things about this board is we don't just give you kind of two sets of wheels, we give you two wheel pulleys as well. So not only do you have the 60 tooth that comes stock, kind of when you open up the box, it's got all-terrain wheels with a 60 tooth pulley on it. The street wheels, we give you an extra, this, this is all included in here, 48 tooth pulley. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, that basically with a 48 tooth pulley, that's a little bit smaller, okay? So this is 48 teeth. Um, th this divided by that gives you 3.0. So it gives you a different gearing ratio by putting the 48 tooth on there. And what that means when, when uh, gear ratios come down, is kind of inverse, gears go up essentially if you're thinking of a car, and it allows you to go faster. So with this board, you're getting um, lots of options. You're getting some really torquey options for climbing big hills, San Francisco, that type of thing. Or if you're a flatlander and you just want to get the maximum speed you can get out of this, you can gear up to that. And um, yeah, the choice is yours. So, talking about the how. That's all the why. Why do we do it? Now the how is actually really easy. If you just want to swap out your wheels from the all-terrains to the streets, super duper easy. All it is, is it's basically just one wheel nut that you slide off, okay? Bam, this comes off, this wheel comes on. Like I said, all this is included in the board, all right? Wheel nut back on. Done, okay? So that, you multiply that times, you know, four, done deal, less than a minute you can swap out. So this, this isn't a big complicated thing. You go from street to all-terrain in seconds, literally. Now, if you want to do the belt, if you want to start changing gearing, that is a little bit more time consuming, but you're still looking under the five minute mark. So to give you an example of that, I'm just going to show you right now. What takes a little bit longer is actually you have to get the uh, wheel pulley cover off. That comes off. That's just two screws. Now, one kind of technical thing is uh, we use Torx bits on all our parts, so all the, um, all the screws that attach the motor, just because we, like, we don't like things stripping, you know, Phillips and things like that. So it's kind of like one of those extra details that, um, that we pay attention to. Now the only downside of that is if you don't have Torx, go out and buy some. It's a great standard. Like I said, you get, you get the most torque you can possibly get out of a tool and a fastener. So anyway, that's, that's one of the kind of finer details. Once you have your uh, pulley cover off, we're going to go back and once again take the wheel off. Okay. But this time, we're not just going to take the wheel off, we're going to take the whole pulley off. So the key to kind of taking these pulleys off, get your spacer off, is just don't, you don't yank it. You kind of, as you pull, you spin, all right? So that gets your belt. Um, set that guy aside. And then also, the not only do we give you an extra set of pulleys, but of course, we give you the belts that come with it. So from there, you just need to set your belts on. And this is the bit that can kind of get a little bit fiddly sometimes, but you basically, um, I can show you some close-ups of this later, but you just do a little bit of a spin. As you push on, you spin, okay? So as you can see, it takes a little bit longer than swapping out just the wheels, but not that much longer. Like I said, I do it in three minutes, um, but I use power tools. Five minute job, easy as pie. That's pretty much it. I'll save you the rest of the time of kind of doing the others. You get the picture on that. Of course, you put your, uh, your pulley cover back on. That's just the two screws. Um, but I'd like to take the rest of the time in this video just to talk about a few other kind of technical things about this board that are cool. One, it's got the Navigator trucks. 
So this truck system um, is kind of like, you know, a little known secret, super duper precise truck. It's not a, you know, well-known brand out there, but it's just, it's a really solid truck. Chrome Ollie axles, you know, we don't spare anything, uh, spare any expense. We just, it's, it's high precision truck, all right? And on the front truck, actually you got flippable axles, so it kind of give you a different leverage. Um, once again, that's kind of a quick change thing, but since it's a Tech Talk, I'll just show you. Um, what that means is that this hanger is just actually, it's a little bit kind of eccentric. So the, um, it's got a low setting and a high setting. So the high setting is gonna sit the board up a little bit higher, low setting a little bit lower. The high one gives you a little more kind of turning leverage. All right? And all that is, once again, it's a single, it's a single screw that you undo, single nut, sorry. Bam, take it, flip it over. So you can't really see on there, but if, when you get your board, you'll see the axle kind of sits offset from the hanger, a little from the rest of it. Down there. So what I've done, they come stock on the low setting to keep the board uh, profile nice and low. But if you want to just get a little more leverage, um, say you want to crank down, you want to run a little bit tighter, but you still want more leverage, then you would make that change there. Done. Okay. Other cool stuff about the board, um, obviously just aesthetically off the top of my head, that heat sink, that's not just a beautiful little logo there. It's actually dissipating the heat that's coming off that board, okay? So this, we're giving you a lot of power, but we wanna make sure that we don't overheat the electronics doing it. So that's the function of that very beautiful little piece right there. While I'm talking about the electronics, this, this is a really key thing. Some of these things you just, you don't see, and that's why we do these tech talks. The electronics on this are premium electronics. So what, what does that mean? The main thing where the money is, is in the chip, the microprocessor that we use in there. And this is a big point of difference that, like I said, it, you, you just don't know until we tell you, but you really don't know until you ride it and you feel it. And that is we use a Texas Instruments uh, microprocessor, okay? So the MCU in this thing is an actual TI chip. No, almost, I don't know of any, I mean, even the high-end competition don't use that chip. So this. This is really, really special. Um, that's sitting on this board right here, this chip. Like I said, that's pricey. It's like double the price of the chips that the other people use. So really important detail. And what, what does that mean for you? It means the smoothest acceleration and braking that you can get in the market. It's just absolutely solid. Killer signal, our transmitter receiver, all really high electronic componentry in there. So you don't have to worry about your remote. You could be, you know, 20, you know, 20 yards away from this thing, 20 meters away, and you're not gonna lose signal. So it's all those little details that we really, really pay attention to. Um, that's kind of the point of this tech talk to, to point these things out. Other stuff, um, just the deck, it's kind of a low tech compared to, you know, the microprocessor, but it actually makes a real big difference to your ride. We got a bamboo maple hybrid deck. So we do bamboo on the bottom to make it nice and kind of like poppy and give it a bit of flex. But we do a maple um, in the rest of it just because we want enough rigidity that it's not just super loose and bouncy. You know, we want to give you a bit of carvability and a bit of precision when you are carving. So that's why we do a hybrid. And especially when you're going off road, it just absorbs those bumps. So having the flex in that deck um, really makes a big difference in the, in the comfort of the ride. Um, yeah, as, as far as other stuff, leave some comments down below because we'd love to hear what you think of your board, what you want to know about this board, if you're thinking of, about buying it. This is a conversation, so please contribute to that. Um, apart from that, you might want to know what's in the box. Uh, it's the usual stuff, like we talked about. Come stock with the all-terrain wheels. It's got the um, street wheels in there all set up with the wheel pulleys and the belts all ready to go. You don't have to buy anything to get those kind of four gearing ratios out of it. Uh, got a manual, of course, remote control. Remotes, um, just nice solid remote. You recharge it with a USB. Um, it's got a eco mode and a high speed mode, which is kind of cool. It's got reverse mode. 
Uh, we have a tech talk on our actual remote, so you can check that out if you want to dive into the details. Um, charger, of course, 42 volt charger. This is a 36 volt board. We can cover all that stuff in another one. Um, and a T-tool, just kind of the standard stuff. So yeah, like I said, leave some comments. Let us know what you think about the videos and we'll catch you next time. Until then, have a good one. Signing out from me, R&D Lee. Oh, <laughs>